I'll sell my Bitcoin if it does this pattern. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and today guys I'll be talking to you about a pattern that I do not want Bitcoin to make. So guys, before I start the video, I just want to say I effing love Bitcoin and there are some Bitcoins that I'm not going to sell. So you need to understand between trading and investing and I highly recommend you go watch this video about trading versus investing. That should be the first video that you watch. You know, more, my other videos get a thousand, two thousand views, but when, when I make educational videos or longer videos like this, this don't get many views. But I highly recommend you spend 10 minutes of your day today or tomorrow to watch this video. So guys, I've got some investment Bitcoin that I do not touch and I won't touch. I'll huddle until it goes to 100k or to zero. I'm not going to sell it. It's like the Wolf of Wall Street when Jordan Belfort said, I'm not effing leaving. And I'm the same with that. I'm not selling that Bitcoin, that the investment pot of Bitcoin that I've got. But I am a trader and I do trade and I'll talk about what my thoughts are about trading Bitcoin today. So if you're trading Bitcoin, you might want to watch this video. And, and even if you're investing, you might want to watch it to see that it doesn't make this pattern because this pattern might be bad for Bitcoin. And if you're uh, thinking about the medium term to short term, uh, this could be a bad pattern to look for. So let's uh, let's actually start on the weekly time frame, guys. So on the weekly time frame, we had a massive rally start of this year and then it's consolidating now and it's forming potentially a triangle that p people, some people are saying it will break to the up, break to the downwards. So from an Elliott wave point of view, it could be one, two, three, and this could be the fourth wave before we get the fifth wave. And usually the correction, um, it comes back to sort of the 382 range. So this is a zone that you'd look for it to come. So it's done that pattern and you'd look for the time correction to be between uh, these two levels. So it is in a in an area where you think that it could break out. So that is still a strong possibility that yes, it can break out. But what Bitcoin sometimes does is it breaks out, fakes people out, gets people's hopes up and then dumps. Uh, it takes the liquidity and then dumps. If Bitcoin does that, then I will actually sell Bitcoin. And I'm not. I'm at the moment. I'm. I'm I probably. I'm not sure. I'll look at how the volume is and what pattern it is uh, for the breakout. And if it does have the breakout, then I will probably look to buy. Um, but it's not the highest probability trade and uh, my I sold Bitcoin at this green zone and, and you can see Bitcoin has come to this green zone and is struggling to get back above. But if Bitcoin gets above here, guys, I'm not going to just buy if it breaks above here. I'll probably look at this line, uh, this support and resistance loan, 11,300, 400. If it just, uh, if Bitcoin just breaks this trend line and where's my drawing tool? If Bitcoin breaks this trend line and hits here and then falls, then I'm not going to buy. If it breaks above this and then if I, if I get a shorter time frame, yeah, I've got a strategy that you're aware of. I've got a free strategy uh, that you can use, a five minute strategy. I recommend you go watch that, the day trading strategy. If you search on my channel, you can use one of those setups to get long of Bitcoin. So that is what I'm looking at. But uh, the, the smart traders, the big investors, if they see something like this and the big red candle close here then they're not gonna buy and if you think about an example on a shorter time frame let me show you this example I'm traveling at the moment it's Friday night where I in the UK so I've not got my mouse so uh, it's a bit it's not easy for me to uh, draw these lines for you but let me try and explain to you what I'm exactly uh, going to do Bitcoin did something similar here guys people were getting really excited and um, They had their trend lines drawn like this one of my students actually done this as well They had their trend lines drawn like this and when Bitcoin had that spike up they were, they bought Bitcoin and what happened guys it dumped hard so if Bitcoin does something like this it spikes above and it could can't close above it or doesn't you know start more trending higher then do not be interested in bitcoin guys and this pattern happens quite a lot it's happened previously um, i can go back and show you 10 more examples when bitcoin has done this uh, it does it for triangles quite a lot so you have to be really quick if you are buying this triangle it, it, it's called a fake out or a spike and it's not very good pattern and especially experienced traders don't fall for it but newer traders 
are affected by it and at the moment it's still below the green zone but I am I'm getting a bit excited because if it keeps hammering this green zone you'd think that it would break above so I do like this uh, level guys the way Bitcoin is looking and I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't buy as much again it goes back to the investing and trading strategy I did buy some um, on that pre and the last break I think it was here I did buy some long-term hold holdings but again I didn't buy as much as I, as I should have uh, below the 3000 uh, around the 3000 4000 level I didn't buy as much I bought a lot here uh, during the Binance hacking rumors and I bought some here when the when it broke out for longer term holdings but let's see what Bitcoin does guys if Bitcoin can break above I think it will probably go to the 17,000 potentially 16,000 those will be the levels I'll be looking at I'll keep you guys up to date there's some Fibonacci confluence over there if it does break down the level I'm looking at is sort of the 8,000 uh, to 7,500 I would love for it to come down here so I can buy more Bitcoin because of why I love Bitcoin so that's what I wanted to say guys when I say sell Bitcoin I'm talking from a trading point of view and if you're trading this could be a really good trade if it does some, do something like that and then it breaks below this again it, it um, breaks a lower high so let's have a look at the four hour chart so if it does you know spike above and 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 it drops below and can't stay above and it then breaks below I would say 10,500 level or gets below the red moving average and gives us our trading setup that I teach and um, for the full educational course you can find the link below and um, that's where I'll be looking to sell so that is my thoughts on Bitcoin guys and if Bitcoin does that pattern that I said uh, I showed you an example previously but it's basically um, let me draw it out for you again just to make it clear if you have any questions guys comment below you can email me at cryptorock at hotmail.com and i'll try and help you out uh, so the pattern that i don't want bitcoin to make is it goes up and it goes down and especially it happens when there's no volume you, you want to see big volume you want to see a nice pattern nice pullback to a moving average you can see the rsi is oversold as well you want the indicators from down to up there's a few things you can look for to spot fake outs um, so that is my thoughts on Bitcoin guys and if it does that I'm going to look to sell more Bitcoin and again from, from a buying point of view uh, my subscribers are people that follow me they've been saved a lot of money by you know not buying Bitcoin as is below this green level and th this was a big breakdown and that potentially people had sold here and, and made money on that on that sellout so this is a very very key zone I'm not even looking at trading altcoins one altcoin that I am trading now is ogre or a rep i don't know what you call it i'm going to post it in the facebook group the signal when i'm looking to buy is um, is this coin guys uh, this is the zone i'm looking to buy let's see if it gives me a pull back to the hourly you can see this getting some reaction but i really want it to buy there's a really nice fib conference you can see the volume dying out again i'm not saying it will break into new York highs but there will be a nice bounds that i'll be looking to play i'll be probably targeting if let's go to the hour, hourly time frame i can share a target with you and um, i'll be looking to if i can get a target if i can buy here i'd probably look in you know five six percent trade so it's nothing to sniff at it's a really good trade if it gives us it and that will be the trade i'll be looking at so this is a zone i'm looking at nice fib conferences let let the moving averages catch up and then wait for a bounce it can have it can even be a bigger bounce but th that is what i will be looking to play so again i'll post it in the group join our facebook group guys it's completely free i've left the link below if you want to join it's completely free and if you want a full educational course uh, the link should be below so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you do not miss any videos guys i'm going to be really active on my youtube channel and be making more educational stuff uh, free for you guys on youtube so make sure you turn on the notification button so you do not miss an update so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin do you think bitcoin is going to have a breakout of this triangle structure it's been in or do you think it will do something like this it tries to drop and then volume dries out and volume comes back in and it goes up so comment below what your thoughts are so i've given you an example here here's another example will it break out or will this triangle uh, break down like similar to what happened in back in 6000 so comment below bitcoin up bitcoin down and um also guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go bitcoin <laughs>